my current with my current position um, where I'm I'm a project engineer or I'm a design engineer in new product development it really it really depends on what phase of the project I'm in um, so at the beginning at the beginning of a uh, of a project my day is typically spent there's a lot of time on in meetings with uh, with stakeholders and such, where you're trying to really determine what people want out of their out of their project, and the requirements phase is the most important part of any of any product development because if you start if you start off on the wrong foot or if you design for the wrong requirement, it doesn't matter how much work you put into it later, it's not what you were supposed to do, and uh, you really do have to spend a lot of time with your with your stakeholders to make sure that they know what they want because they don't always. So in that case, it's going to be more research and uh, research and meetings on that. When we move on to the actual design phase, so there, my typical day is going to be really pushing myself into the into the designs. There's a lot of CAD work involved, uh, which is great because I like CAD. Um, I get to work with designers also, so um, in which allows me to not just do the CAD myself, but also have somebody who really specializes in CAD, where I can really guide the design and do quite a bit more than I would otherwise. But to make sure that we're always on the same page, we still have to have design reviews with uh, with peers to make sure you don't make a mistake or that so that you can overcome challenges and such. And also with stakeholders, make sure that you're still going through. Uh, after we've actually, when we actually start making uh, drawings and getting parts made, we we start assembling them. So for a while, my uh, my time is going to be spent in in the lab, getting uh, getting anything we've designed to actually look like it, right? Assembling it, and and then the testing phase is. Probably the second most important one after the after the requirements, uh, and whenever I'm in a testing phase on a project, most of my time is spent in the test facilities, especially if they're longer tests, um, or writing test procedures and test reports. Because as and actually, I've got a prop here, but it's a little blurry. But I really like this guy. And the when I say I spend time on on reports, if you don't write it down, you didn't really do it. And even though that's not the most fun part, documentation is part of every single day <laughs> in uh, in my life. Um, and then when you get to something like well commercialization and things before. That's when I spend the most time on documentation. I write, uh, I write manuals. I do, um, I give training. Sometimes it's in person. Sometimes it's just training material that we post on a, on a field support website. I've uh, lately I've been doing video editing, on training videos that I filmed in our lab so that we can send it around the world, so that we reduce the instances of failures from people from people that. Well, that way we reduce maintenance-induced failures, right? So we really have to, to keep an idea of everything that's happening with our tools from the beginning all the way to the end user and even disposal to make sure that we can design it the way it goes.